Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video for you and I just want to point out the reason I look the same in this video as I did in two others is because I am bulk filming so you might see me looking the same even though there might be like a week or so in between the different videos but I'm just trying to get loads of videos filmed for when I'm on holidays so that I can pre schedule them for upload yeah but anyhow this video is like 10 of my favorite mac products now i couldn't do my all time top fav top 10 favorites of all time jesus that was really hard to say i couldn't do my top 10 favorites of all time just because they do vary and it depends on like the season and stuff like that and i love loads of mac products because obviously i'm very very familiar with them and i've been using them and collecting them for years and years and years so i'm just going to show 10 of my real solid favorite mac products there are others i wanted to include and i actually did already film this and then scrapped that because it was too long and there was 20 products in it so i better be careful that i don't blab too much in this so that it's going to be just as long but i'll just start off and i'll show you in no particular order just the products that i have in front of me so i'm going to start off with this guy here and it's warm soul by mac this is a lovely um blusher it was one of the mineralized blushers and the reason I love it is because the tone is just perfect. It's one of those lovely universal um, tones that really do suit everyone. So it has a kind of a rosy, warm, peachy gold, not rosy, it's more of a peachy gold finish to it. And it has just enough kind of lift and enough of those mineral particles to give lovely sheen to the skin without it being tacky. And this really does suit everyone. I use this on like the palest of the pale up to quite medium skin tones. And it really suits so many people. And it'd be one that I kind of use in wedding makeup a lot as well. Because people don't always want to be fully matte in photography makeup but um something like this will give a bit of a sheen without it being over the top so this is one that i love and i honestly reach for it so so often they're about 24 here in ireland then another product that i use religiously is the prep and prime lip by mac so this is a lip primer and it comes in this kind of packaging it is quite sleek and black i like the prep and prime packaging and then you have your lip stick lip balm stick or lip primer stick like this and um, it's a waxy kind of lip product. You put it all over the lip, you even extend it over the lip line a little bit, and then it kind of turns into Velcro for the lips is the best way for describing it. You let it set on the lips for about 30 seconds. It starts to go a little bit tacky, so when you put on your product, it really sticks to it. But it's not tacky in that like it's hard to work over. It actually allows your lip liners to go on so much smoother. It helps improve the longevity of your lip products and it just feels really comfortable on the lips as well. So it's great for under those really matte lipsticks, particularly the retro mattes by MAC because they can be very uncomfortable and dry on the lips after a few hours and this really helps with that. So that's a must have for me. Another wonder product is this guy here um, and that's not an exaggeration. This is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. This guy comes in a little glass bottle like this. It's about 20 euros in Ireland and it comes with a pump. Um, some people have issues with the packaging because it is glass so of course if you drop it it'll break but that's with anything glass and then the pump I do agree that it can be hard to um, control the amount of product you dispense so you do waste some sometimes um, but it's such an amazing product and I way prefer this to the Pro Longwear foundation I actually use this as a foundation rather than the Pro Longwear foundation it goes on as a liquid it's kind of like a gel liquid really and um, it gives superb coverage for a very little amount of product it covers blemishes as well as under eyes so it's one of those kind of products you can use for both there's not a, hu a huge amount of concealers out there that i comfortably use to get good covering under the eye without caking as well as being heavy enough to cover um blemishes and stuff like this and this is one of them it contains film formers so it lasts forever on the skin and this does not crease at all for me so i really really love that I have to mention the MAC Lip Pencils because I think the range is really, really good and they just go on like perfect, especially when you use them over the lip primer as well. So two that I use religiously would be, say, the Subculture Lip Pencil by MAC. I have about four of the little nubs. No, I have five of them, Jeannie. I have I've a little drawer of like what I call my nubs, um, which sounds kind of dirty actually, but it's just when you get the little stubs of pencils that are left over um and i don't throw them out because i'll use them on myself but they usually had been living in my kit and the subculture is one that i've gone through so many times so when i wear this it basically just looks like your own lip color it is just that perfect perfect color for pale skin um and it's a brilliant one to have and again i'd use that on bridal work a lot and then one that i love i didn't know whether to show this or current or vino but i couldn't find vino so i decided to show this this is current by mac for anyone who loves your 
kind of purpley berry shades. This is a perfect pairing for those lipsticks. This is very similar to Vino again. Um, and the shade range of red lip pencils by MAC is very, very strong. They do red, cherry, brick, um, auburn. There's a couple of others and they're really, really good red. So I definitely highly recommend those. I'm going to stick with lip products and show you the MAC... This is the Viva Glam 1, but I'm really impressed with all of the Viva Glam range. So I've done a video on this and on the MAC AIDS funds in the, fund in the past. So I'll link to that below. And if you want to see how it looks on, the tutorial is below as well. But this is just one of those beautiful, deep, intense kind of burgundy reds. A bit more ox-bloody, say. Um, unlike this one, this isn't what I'm wearing. But, you know, this is more like, say, Russian red by MAC. Whereas this one is much more deep and intense and it's perfect for the winter months. Now these, the reason I'm adding these is because the whole range, bar, I use one, Viva Glam number one, which is this guy, I use number two religiously, which is um, a neutral nude shade. I use, don't use, no I do use three, I love three as well. It is this guy here, which is a dark plum shade. It again, for anyone who loves their dark lipsticks, it's fantastic. Four, I don't use too much. Five, I love. It's one of my actual favourite ever bridal lipsticks. It's a lovely rosy one that has a lovely kind of luster finish and gives a lovely sheen to the lips. And then number six, I don't really use. But as a range, they are fantastic um, because they're not too crazy. They will suit everyone. And of course, all the proceeds go to charity. So that's why I had to include that. Next, I had to, of course, include this. This is the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. I think there's about nine or ten shades altogether in the range they are gorgeous finishing powders but they give enough coverage that you can use them by themselves on over a little bit of concealer if you want something um if you don't want to go fully barefaced but you don't want to actually wear foundation these are um very 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 finely milled and they don't cake i find they don't cake at all and these contain natural oils so they're really good for anyone bar the oiliest of the oiliest because um they will help mattify the skin to a certain extent, but they don't totally like make it flat or matte. Like it'll help take down shine from your foundation or from your skincare, but it still has a bit of a gleam to it, which I love, a very subtle gleam because of the mineralized particles or the mineral particles, and it contains natural oils, like I said, so it's really good for say anyone who wants to wear powder and they have dry skin and they're usually frightened of powder. This is perfect for that but it's the finish that I absolutely adore of this. And I love it for photography as well. Um, it doesn't flash back, um, like maybe mar like the tiniest bit if it's a really crap, like harsh camera from a phone, but with normal photography, like bridal photography, it doesn't. Then my next product is another little pencil nub, and this is Feline by MAC. This is a power coal pencil. So it is one of the blackest pencils you can possibly get out there. I used to always love Smolder because this one wasn't permanent up until about last year. And it was Smolder that I used to always use because I couldn't get my hand in this. And when this came out, Smolder went to the wayside. I almost never use it anymore. This guy is fantastic. Now often this has black going through the actual wood part. This one's normal for some reason. But um, it's just brilliant. And this is nearly always what I use on my waterline. Um, I mean, I do use others, but for the, for the MAC products or the MAC ones, it's this that I use and I just think it's brilliant, it's great if you want to do a smoky eye or anything like that, it is easily one of the best black pencils out there. Then moving on to number 8, um, the number 36 lash, this is my most used false lash by MAC, I use it on everyone and if I'm wearing a lash myself, this is my favourite one to wear as well, I just love the shape, the way it flares out at the side, it's perfect for anyone who wears a um, eyeliner flick like myself and um, the band is really comfortable on the actual eyelid and um, it is actually made of like brown hairs um, rather than black so I like that it's up to yourselves how intense you want it to go if you just add your um, mascara it's of course going to look black and if you wanted something more natural for daytime or if you're maybe more on the blonde side or whatever it's nice to have the option of having them brown so they're lovely and those guys are um, like 14, 13, yeah 13 euro here in Ireland then, of course, number nine, I'm going to say paint pots. I'm only just going to show a couple. So this guy here is Vintage Selection. This is a beautiful kind of rose gold color. No, not gold, sorry, rose beige color, just like that. It's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. And I love the shine and all that kind of stuff. Again, it's one I'd use a lot on bridal makeup or like I used it as my base today as well under this eyeshadow. So I, it's, it's a 
beautiful beautiful finish and um, some of the paint pots are better than others that's one of the better ones um, and this guy here is soft ochre so this is a kind of a creamy yellow a yellowy creamy kind of color this is brilliant for anyone who's pale and who has redness around the eye that you want to eradicate but because it's so light um, it is brilliant for acting as a base for your eyeshadow because it won't kind of adjust the color of the eyeshadow it'll allow your eyeshadow to come out true like bright and true to color and stuff like that i used to love um i still love painterly but i used to use painterly more and then when soft ochre became ready, readily available in ireland because it hadn't been available in Galway for years and years and years um this definitely took over kind of like the way feeling i took over smolder so that's that guy and then my final pick and this is number 10 is the brow pencils by mac so they're actually just called the brows eyebrows yeah but this is lingering this is possibly my most used one it is this gorgeous ashy brown color i wonder if you can see there probably won't be able to see it there and i use this on like myself all the time um i wouldn't use it on someone maybe who has black black hair but anyone going up to kind of medium to dark brown hair it's fine it can be used on blondes who have darker eyebrows naturally because sometimes fling can look a bit grey on anyone whose eyebrows are a little bit dark so this is just one of those great in between colours that work on everyone and I would use like fling and strut and stuff like that a lot they're brilliant products now they're a little bit expensive for what you get they're like 17 euros and they do tend to break because they'll twist up but they won't go back down which is kind of a pain in the backside and um, I think that affects a lot of people because you know if you accidentally put up too much and you know it can break and then you're kind of screwed but <laughs> it's a brilliant product nonetheless and that finishes off my top 10 for today like I said I think I'll revisit this in the summer months and see what I'm loving then it'll be interested to see if I pick any of the same ones again but um we'll see in a few months time so I hope this is helpful guys thanks for watching there will be a full list of products as usual on the blog and I'll chat to you soon Salam.